So by default, player choice is going to be zero. So create unit counts variable player choice uh, unit owner of picked unit. So it's going to create the number of units that is specified for this player for the player choice for this player. So by default, it's going to create uh, unit counts uh, player choice zero. It's going to basically create um, unit counts zero, which is one by default. Um, and then the unit actually is going to be, uh, let's see, player units. Hold on, this is getting complicated thinking this through here. Uh, so we're going to create that many of whatever the player unit type is for the unit. I hope I didn't get too far ahead of myself with all these variables, but we'll see for the owner of picked unit for player unit owner of picked unit at point position of and hopefully it'll create it automatically around the edges of it um, we'll find out facing 270 you could do math random angle to make it a little bit nicer looking and you could I wouldn't suggest checking ignore placement because they'll probably be inside the nexus if they get made um, so we create one of those and that's all we basically need to do here. And then we'll make a new trigger. Um, this will be dialog selected. Um, any dialog item is used. And then here we're going to do some if conditions, general, I mean, if actions. So if the um, condition, make a new one. And if the, uh, what is it? Use dialog item there you got the bottom list. If use dialog item equals equals variable units dialog item zero, meaning they clicked on zealot or zealot I mean. If they clicked on zealot and you could add a comment here to keep it nice for you. Zealot. Um, so what are we gonna do? If they click the zero spot, we are going to um, set a variable for them. Set player choice equal um, zero oops set player choice and then change the thing in brackets to be uh, player triggering player that's the player who pressed the dialog so we'll set the player choice for them to equal zero copy paste and we need to set the player units for the triggering player to equal and this is where it comes in handy unit types zero so you I could have just put in a zealot here but I've already done it ahead of time so that's good. And one thing you'll want to do is um, dialog. Let's we'll see what we're gonna do because if somebody's well, you this is up to you. But um, if somebody press the zealot button, you'd want to disable it so they can't keep clicking it because it'd be pointless. Um, so what you can do is enable disable. So we could disable the use dialog item for convert player group to player, player group function, player, triggering player. So now it's disabled. However, you don't know what one was disabled before. So we could store it, or a simple way to do it is just to enable everything for the player, and then, um, and then just disable the right one. So uh, let's see. Uh, where's general? Pick each integer from 0 to, I believe we made 3. 0 to 3, yeah. Um, so from 0 to 3, we're going to copy paste that inside here. And we're going to enable, change the use dialog item to variable, use dialog item function picked integer. We're going to enable for this player. We're going to enable every single. Thing that it, so make sure that if you add more buttons to choose, like a fourth button, fifth button, I mean a fifth, sixth, seventh button, that you go back in here and you change. Well, you could add a local variable. Um, sorry, I'm going off. Well, I'm not going off track, but I'm expanding here. Let's call this um, choices max. And actually, let's make this a global variable. Sorry, 
choices, max is going to be initial value of three. It's actually four, but I'm doing I'm doing starting counting from zero. So in here, let's delete this and let's actually change this. Instead of a three, we'll make it choices max. Um, so say you release this map and then two weeks later you update it to have five more units to choose from. You add all these things here. Well, you, you increase this, this to size, whatever, to accommodate uh, four, five, six, seven, etc. And then you change choices max to six or seven and then this will automatically update. So you don't have to go back in here and change three to five, etc. And that's good that I'll, I just did that now so then uh, you don't have that problem later. So we enable everything and then we disable the one they just clicked. So I hope that makes sense. Um, it's not the most efficient way to do it, but it's the easiest way to do it uh, and the quickest way to show it. So we've set the unit and this happens. So every, by default, everybody's going to be getting a zealot because we set it here. All right. And but now we need to copy these. And I clicked here and pasted so that it pasted below. Make sure this is not inside or anything and change the comment to be Marine. I believe it was Marine, uh, let's see, Marine Zergling Stalker, okay. So if, now if they press Marine, which is button one, we're gonna set the player choice to equal one. We're gonna set the player units to equal unit types one. And then we enable and then disable. So this, this action is basically the same. Copy paste, and this is Zergling. A little bit of grunt work, but um, I mean, this is pretty short. I mean, we're basically going to have a working map in a few minutes here. So uh, that's good. And copy paste this again, and we'll change this to be, oops, stalker. And this has got to be three, three, and three. Okay, so this should work. And um, it's going to keep spawning whatever you've selected. And then what we want to do also is do the ordering trigger. So uh, let's see, order, ordering chat. So the way I'm going to do ordering in this tutorial, I've decided is just, just by a chat message. So it'll be like dash, dash, like W dash E dash South or whatever. I'll, I'll use some sort of mnemonic and we'll, well, I'll also show how to display a tip to actually tip the players as to what that means. Um, so the event is of game chat message containing dash matching partially and then the condition we're going to check is change, click on the left bracket here and we're going to check that the um, actually we're going to do string substring Enter chat string. Wait, is that what I use? Use the chat string function to refer to the message being entered. Yes, enter chat string. Yes. So if the entered chat string at positions 1, 1, meaning the first letter, you can't actually set this to 0, it just defaults to 1. So the first letter entered has to be a dash. So this is just double checking this thing, because this dash could be anywhere. So somebody could be saying hi dash something something and this would pass, but then this checks that it's the first letter. And then we do general if, and actually I'm gonna use numbers, so if you type dash one, it's gonna to go to player one, etc. cetera. If, um, click on the left bracket again, actually we should just delete the condition and paste that one in. So if entered chat string from two to two is one, so if somebody typed dash one, then we're going to unit group or unit I issue order to unit group. It's weird that issue order to unit group is in unit and not in unit group, but that's something to know. Order all units in function, unit group, units in region, matching condition, uh, any units in the entire map owned by player, function, player, triggering player, and I believe triggering player is how to get the player. Yeah, that's typing. So order all units by the typing player matching, that's fine, with at most any amount to click on the left brackets here, order targeting point, to attack 
and that means attack move because we did order targeting point function unit position of unit and here's where we do a little bit of trickery um, random unit from unit group random living unit from unit group units in a region matching condition and this is getting quite messy but this is what you gotta do um, any units change this to be value nexus because they're only gonna have one nexus so random unit here uh, random units actually just gonna find one unit because all players only have one nexus random uh, next unit from owned by player uh, one in this case with at most any amount and we're gonna replace the existing order so it, that you could do it after or before but I'm just gonna replace it right away order your guys to move to that spot and let's copy paste this and so if they entered two now change that to a two dash two um, if they enter dash two I mean we're gonna order all their units order all the units of this triggering player to attack targeting the position of a nexus owned by player two and that's all we need to do copy paste changes to a three and because I only have four players this is pretty quick changes to a three and make that a four and make this a four and so this is good so let's go back and make a tip uh, UI create a tip um, let's call the title of this tip um, commands normal tip description use these commands to order all of your units oops it's not display as raw text there we go um, dash one or I'll, I'll use this sends units to player one sends all of your units to play to attack towards player one copy paste okay simple enough okay and the alert text will be orders an icon. Um, I'm just going to pick something temporary. You can put more time into this. Uh, hmm, that's weird. Uh, reflection. Actually, let's search for BTN. There, we'll make the lightning thing. Okay, um, so why don't we go in game and see what actually happens for this? Uh, okay. And I'll do some, after we see what happens, I will change the triggers to, sh to fix if a player is not in the game, not active. Okay, I have my, uh, my Nexus here. And this will probably need a, like a hide and show button if you went further with this, but um, the spawn function is obviously not working. Uh, let's see if I change that. The buttons are going out nicely though, nicely disabled. And now, now I'm getting my guy properly. Um, I guess by default it's not really working, so we'll have to fix that. But um, you can see I got the marine here. Yeah, it's making them nicely. And let's see, dash two. Yeah, it ordered them all to go there. Dash three. Dash four. Dash one, come back home. And you can see the tip here. So by default, I guess it's, um, let's see if it changes to stalker. I think five seconds is a bit long. Um, so let's fix a few things and um, you could obviously remove supply or whatever. Let's fix fix a few things like this um, and then we'll, we'll be pretty much done. So first off, I believe that because the, um, because they never, uh, by default, players never actually choose anything, we need to set it by default, so. Um, once I chose the dialogue, it worked, so this is just my mistake here. Set player units 1 to equal unit type 0. So by default, everybody's going to just get a zealot. 